Hi everyone, welcome to this talk. My name is Hussain Hadipur, and I'm going to present our paper entitled Improved Rectangle Attacks on Skinny and Craft, which is joint work with Nessur Bagri and Ling Sang. I've divided my talk into six parts. As you can see, I will start with giving a short introduction to boomerang and sandwich extinguishers, and then I will introduce our new method to search for sandwich extinguishers for SPM block ciphers. Next, I will briefly review the BCD framework and introduce our new math tools in BCD framework. Then I will discuss about the application of our methods on two lightweight SPM block ciphers, including Kraft and Skinny, and lastly conclude the talk by summarizing our main contributions in this work. Let's start by the first part where I'm gonna give a short introduction to boomerang and sandwich distinguishers. Given the black cipher E with black size of n bits, if we have a long differential transition with probability smaller than 2 to the minus n, we cannot exploit it to distinguish the black cipher E from a random permutation. However, what if we can divide the black cipher E into two smaller parts, namely E0 and E1, such that for each of which there exists a differential transition with a very high probability? For example, in this case, what if there exist differential transitions for E0 and E1 with probability P and Q respectively, such that P is square Q is square is much greater than 2 to the minus n. The core idea of boomerang kept analysis is combining these two short differential transitions in adaptively chosen plain text cipher testing to build a distinguisher for black cipher. In boomerang kept analysis, it is assumed that the attacker has access to both encryption and decryption oracles. Let's see how boomerang distinguisher work. In boomerang distinguisher, we firstly provide a pair of plain tastes with difference delta and ask the encryption of these pair of plain tastes to derive the corresponding cipher text C1 and C2. As you can see, the differential transitions delta 1 to delta 2 is happened with probability P. Next, we apply the same difference and the derived cipher text C1 and C2 to generate two new cipher texts, namely C3 and C4. And then we query the decryption of C3 and C4 to derive the corresponding plain text, which are denoted by P3 and P4. And then we check the difference between P3 and P4 to see whether the difference between them is delta 1 or not. If the differential transitions in the upper part are independent of the differential transitions in the lower part, the probability of observing delta 1 on the other side of this shape is actually the multiplication of the probability of these four differential transitions, which is actually equal to p squared q squared. However, the upper differential transition in boomerang kept analysis or in boomerang distinguisher is not independent of the lower differential transition in practice. The dependency between the upper and lower differential transitions can have either a positive or a negative effect on the resulting uh, boomerang distinguisher. For example, Faisal switch, which was in, firstly introduced in the seminal paper of boomerang cryptanalysis by Wagner, or ladder switch and spike switches are some kind of dependencies that has a positive effect on the resulting boomerang distinguisher using which attacker can derive a boomerang distinguisher with a higher probability. On the other side, dependency between the upper and lower differential transitions can have a negative effect and, for example, implies some kinds of inconsistencies between the upper and lower differential trains, uh, which uh, spoil the boomerang distinguisher. Therefore, considering and formalizing the dependency between the upper and lower differential transitions in boomerang distinguisher is of great significance. That's why the idea of sandwich distinguisher was proposed. As you can see in this shape, in sandwich distinguisher, instead of dividing the black cipher into two slices, we divide it into three slices, including E0, EM, and E1, where the middle slice is considered to model the dependency between the upper and lower differential transitions. In the sandwich distinguisher, the probability of getting delta 1 on the other side is p square q square r, where r is computed using this formula, and r is actually 
the probability of sending boomerang over the middle slice and getting it back on the other side. Given that, the intermediate differences in sandwich distinguishers, namely delta 2 and number 3, can take an arbitrary possible value. Taking the clustering effect into account, we can estimate the probability of sandwich distinguisher using this formula more accurately. As you can see, this formula is actually the summation of this product over all of the possible intermediate difference values. Now, I want to draw your attention to the middle slice of sandwich distinguisher and discuss in more detail about one of the switching effects which is called ladder switch and plays an important role in our method to search for sandwich distinguishers. This shape represents the middle slice of sandwich distinguisher and you can see that the probability of boomerang switch over the middle slice is computed using this formula. It can be seen that if delta 2, which is actually the difference coming from the upper differential transition is 0, then the probability of boomerang switch is 1. It is also the case when nobla 3 is equal to 0. As a result, if you compare these shapes, as a result, uh, you can see that the probability of boomerang switch over the middle slice is highly dependent on the common active sparks between the upper and lower differential transitions. And then the entire probability of sandwich extinguisher is actually determined by the number of active sparks over E0 and E1 as well as the common active sparks over the middle part. More precisely, in P square Q square R formula, P is mostly determined by the number of active sparks in E0 Q is mostly determined by the number of active sparks in E1, and R is mostly determined by the number of common active sparks between the upper and lower differential transitions in EM. Taking this formula into account, you can see that the cost of active sparks over the outer parts, namely E0 and E1, is more than the cost of active sparks over the middle part because the exponent of P and Q in this formula are 2, whereas the exponent of R is 1. With this brief introduction, I'm going to introduce our new method to search for sandwich distinguishers for SPM black ciphers. Our method to search for sandwich distinguishers can be divided into three main steps. The first step, which is actually the most important step, uh, is devoted to find two appropriate upper and lower uh, differential trades, minimizing the number of active boxes in outer parts as well as the number of common active sparses in the middle part. I will discuss about this step in more details in the next slides. The second step of our method is instantiating the discovered, the truncated trades with concrete differential trade. And finally, when we have concrete differential trades in hand, we can compute PQ and R and put them together in P square Q square R formula to compute the internal probability of sandwich distinguisher. Let's take a look at the first step in more detail. The aim of first step is finding appropriate truncated upper and lower trades. To do so, we divide the black cipher into three parts, including E0, EM, and E1. Next, we encode the propagation of truncated differential trades over the first R0 plus RM rounds with an MILP problem. We do the same for last Rm plus R1 rounds and encode the propagation of truncated differential trades over Em and E1 with another MILP problem. Now we have two independent MILP models with independent binary variables. Next, to detect the common active sparks in the middle, we define some additional variables such as S here and then Assuming that U denotes the activeness of uh, sparks in the upper trail and L denotes the activeness of sparks in lower trail, we link these two MILP models to each other by including these three inequalities for each sparks in the middle into our MILP model. According to these three inequalities, you can see that S is equal to 1 if and only if u and l are both equal to 1. It means that s is equal to 1 if the corresponding sparks in the middle is active in both upper and lower 
train. Therefore, using this technique, we can detect and characterize the common activist boxes in the middle. Taking these constraints into account, we also define an objective function aiming at minimizing the number of common activist boxes in the middle as well as the number of activist boxes in the outer parts. We also assign some weights to the, for example, activist boxes in outer parts as well as activist boxes in the middle part to adjust the probability of the resultant sandwich distinguisher. We can, for example, play with the weight of uh, activist boxes to drive different boomerang distinguishers with different probabilities. After discovering two appropriate truncated upper and lower trades, we uh, come to the second step where we instantiate the truncated trades with concrete differential trades. After, for example, uh, instantiating the truncated differential trades, we compute P, Q, and R, and, uh, for example, uh, we do it by fixing the differences at the input-output of each single uh, slice in the sandwich distinguisher, and next we put uh, P, Q, and P, Q, R in together in P square Q square R formula to compute the entire probability. It should be noted that we uh, never use differential characteristic to build our distinguisher. We, as you can see in this shape, we only fix the differences in four positions of sandwich distinguishers, which are the connecting points between the three slices of sandwich distinguisher. The probability, the differential effect, for example, over E0 and E1, which are denoted by P and Q, can be computed using the automatic methods for differential kept analysis. However, to compute the probability of boomerang switch over the middle slice, we need a new framework, which is actually the BCT framework. BCT framework provides for us uh, some new tools, which makes us able to formulate the probability of boomerang switch over the middle slice of sandwich distinguisher. This shape represents the boomerang switch when it uh, includes only one slice layer. And on the right hand side, you can see the four involved differences in this boomerang switch. Besides the DDT, uh, using which we formulate the probability of differential trails in, simple, uh, in basic differential of analysis, BCT framework introduced a new table, which is called BCT, and it actually encode the dependency between the upper and lower differential transitions for one sparse layer, as you can see. However, BCT can only be used to uh, formulate the dependency uh, when the boomerang switch includes only one uh, sparse layer. Uh, to encode the dependency between upper and lower differential trails, in boomerang switch where it uh, includes multiple rounds, we need some further tools which are actually upper BCT and lower BCT. Using these building blocks uh, of BCT framework, we can formulate the probability of boomerang switch over the middle slice of sandwich distinguishers. However, in addition to these tables, we also introduced a new table which is called double boomerang connectivity table, uh, which is denoted by DBCT in this slide. And DBCT is very useful to compactly uh, formulate the dependency between the upper and lower differential trans transitions over multiple par multiple rounds. We defined uh, uh, different variants of DBCT, for example, DBCT left, DBCT right, and DBCT. Now we come to the end of this uh, part, and we are ready to discuss about the application of our method for craft. Craft is a lightweight tickle by cipher which was introduced in FSA 2019 and this shape represents the round function of Craft. The block size of Craft is 64 bits and the tweaky size of Craft is 128 bits. As you can see in this shape, uh, the round function of Craft applies five basic operations on the internal state, uh, which includes the diffusion layer as well as the nonlinear layer. The internal state can be viewed as a 4x4 array of nibbles and uh, the nonlinear layer includes the, for example, uh, is consisted of uh, applying uh, the same forward spices on every single nibble. 
And the diffusion layer includes, uh, for example, some XORs between the rows and, uh, for example, 2EK addition and round constant addition, as well as a permute nibbles, which is a permutation over the position of nibbles. I, I just skipped the description of 2EK schedule of graph because our um, boomerang distinguishers are in the single 2EK setting. This here represents our sixth round uh, deterministic distinguisher for craft, which is discovered by our tool and our method. Yellow square in this shape represents non-zero differences, and green square represents any possible difference, which means that in green square the difference can be zero or non-zero due to the differential cancellation over the diffusion layer. This shape represents the activeness pattern over the upper, upper trail of sandwich extinguisher. And this shape represents the activeness pattern over the lower trail. Now let's put them together in one shape. As you can see, there is not any interaction uh, uh, or any common active sparks between the upper and lower trail. And as a result, due to the ladder switch, the probability of this distinguisher is one. This is another example, which is actually the seven round distinguisher for craft and interestingly, it can be extended up to 14 rounds of craft, like this. Now let's take a look at the middle slice of this shape uh, to see how we formulate the probability of boomerang switch over the middle part. If, a, if we follow the propagation of uh, upper and lower crossing differences over the middle slice of this shape, we can see that the probability of boomerang switch in the middle slice can be encoded using four dbcd tables as well as some additional ddt which is a very compact formulation of uh, probability of boomerang switch over several rounds of craft this table summarizes our boomerang distinguishers for craft and probabilities which um, are marked in red have been experimentally verified as you can see in comparison to the differential crypt analysis of craft the boomerang distinguishers have a great advantage. For example, let's compare our 10 round boomerang distinguisher with the 10 round differential effect of craft. As you can see, the probability of our 10 round boomerang distinguisher is 2 to the minus 19.83, whereas the probability of 10 round differential effect of craft is 2 to the minus 44, which reveals that boomerang uh, distinguishers have a great advantage over the differential distinguishers for reduced rounds of craft. We also applied our method to a skinny in the related tweak setting to find boomerang distinguishers. A skinny is a light with tweak like ciphers and has different variants depending on the um, block size of a skinny, which can be 64 bits or 128 bits. And depending on the number of involved tweak keys, a skinny has actually six main variants. This shape represents our 22 round practical sandwich distinguisher. Uh, which is discovered by our tool for one of the variants of Skinny. Uh, in, uh, for example, in this shape, uh, as you can see, we have included the first eight rounds uh, in E0, we have included the last eight rounds in E1, and we included the six middle rounds in the mm, boomerang switch, or namely EM. The probability over E0 uh, the probability of differential effect over E0 is, is computed using the, for example, automatic tools based on a mile P or SAT, which is, uh, for example, 2 to the minus 2.41 here. This is also the case for uh, differential effect over E1. It should be noted that to compute the differential effect over E0, we only fix the difference here and the difference here. And then we compute the probability of boomerang switch over the six round middle part using the BCD framework, which results in, for example, 2 to the minus 20.02. E. If we put these three um, terms together in P of square, P of square, Q of square, R formula, we can see that the probability, uh, uh, the entire probability of this distinguisher is 2 to the minus 38.84. Uh, in comparison to the probability of um, best previous uh, sandwich distinguishers for uh, 22 runs of this variant of a skinny, you can see that we have significantly improved the success probability. Uh, 
This table summarizes our results um, regarding the boomerang distinguishers of skinny. And again, the probabilities marked in red represents the probabilities that have been experimentally verified. As you can see, in all cases, we not only improved, we not only significantly improved the success probability of sandwich distinguisher, but also we improved the sandwich distinguishers by one or two rounds in all cases. We also provided Kirikari attacks upon our distinguishers for Eskini and Kraft. The bottom of this table represents the previous results and the top of this table includes our results. As you can see, in all cases, we could improve the rectangle attacks by one or two rounds, or in only one cases, yeah, uh, we could improve the success probability dramatically. We also provided a rectangle cryptanalysis for craft for the first time. Now we come to the end of the stock where I would just like to summarize our main contributions. The main contribution of this paper is introducing a new heuristic method to search for sandwich distinguishers. We also introduced uh, new tools in BCT framework, including DBCT. And we applied these uh, new tools and this new method to two SPM black ciphers, including Eskini and Kraft, which was resulted in a significant improvement in boomerang distinguisher or rectangle attacks on this cipher. Uh, I would just like to mention that all of our codes um, to reproducing the results or experimentally verifying the results are publicly available in this GitHub repository. Thank you for your attention.